And you guys, it looks like Ceci has been kicking butt with uh, the cups that she's been doing. They're looking very, very nice. I think she's killing it. Yesterday she seemed to be a little bit frustrated because she was having some issues with um, with the cups. But then she finally took a breather, started thinking about the process, and then she finally figured everything out, so that's good. If she comes in later today, we're going to uh, have her talk about that discount that's going to be available for you guys. And I want her to talk about it. She looks like she was helping me weed out some of these, which is awesome. Because that saves me a lot of time. And then also she looks like she cleaned Brian's desk, which might not be Brian's desk for much longer. Uh, we had a talk last week about him either wanting to come to work and uh, show up to help us all and he said yes but then again he doesn't show up to work if we don't go pick him up or make an effort to at least give us a call and say he can't make it or just things of that nature so yesterday I said that I was gonna finish printing these shirts but I ended up helping my friend Jeremiah print these 100 towels which were like a one color front and then they um, they had a color change so some got it in white, some got it in black. For towels, it's the same process. We like to burn it on a 160 so that some ink comes through and uh, you're not having a hard time with a with higher mesh because you do have to push through the screen in order to um, get that towel to print real well. So make sure you burn it on a 160. I know it has a lot of detail, but we were able to wash it out, so that was super helpful. And then, um, Jeremiah was also reclaiming a couple of screens yesterday. You guys saw that. Uh, there's a lot of work that needs to get done. I have a couple of orders for decals that I still haven't finished that I need to get to. I still have all of Preston's orders that I need to finish and a couple of Jeremiah's that are due tomorrow. So we do have some work to get done and it looks like I'm here by myself. So I gotta figure out what's going on. I gotta figure out if somebody wants to either intern in graphic designing and come help me, uh, hopefully here in the near future. So if you guys are watching this and you're interested, just hit me up on my Instagram. The link for my Instagram is always uh, underneath or it's always below in the description. So make sure you take a look at that. And then uh, that's it for now. So I'm about to eat lunch. All right, we got Jeremiah and Ceci in the building. Jeremiah started working on some of the shirts that I need to print for him today and Ceci is here so you guys she can tell you what the promo code is and what the percentage of the discount that you're getting so Ceci go for it hi feel free to let them know you know you're doing this while I just cried a thousand rivers you what <laughs> my eyes are so swollen right now her eyes are swollen because she cried a thousand rivers you guys Okay, so I'm gonna say if she don't wanna say it. She wants to give you guys a 23% yeah. off her cups. And all you have to do is go to her website. I'm gonna drop the link below. And uh, what is it? Big? Car Big 23. No. What? What's the website called? It's Etsy. So it's her Etsy shop. Vega 23 is the promo code that you have to type in to get 23% off. See, si, senor. And then obviously you guys gotta w pay for w it. W Dot I'm gonna drop the link. Forward slash shop. Forward slash glitz and glaze. Oh, well, her eyes are. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you guys. This is what you're getting. What are these? Thermal cups? Coffee cups? Beer cups. Beer cups. You name it. She can do it. Keep it all cold. She can make your salt shaker. Customize if you needed to. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. It's fine. It's fine. Wow. It's fine. Um, it is Vega23, the promo code, and you get 23% off of any Tumblr cup you'd like. Okay? Hit me up at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash glitz and glaze. Yeah! I don't know what that meant, but I'm going to drop the link below. <laughs> I'm going to put the promo code and the percentage that you get off. So if you guys are anywhere in the U.S. Anywhere. Also, you can follow her on Instagram. I'm also dropping the link below. The link for his stuff is not going to be underneath because he's also a screen printer and I he's help him hater. out. Right now, he's working on his website. 
Oh, you're not. Oh. You're marketing. Oh no, that that's his pricing. Oh, we don't want that. Yeah, we're marketing. <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the pricing for his uh his pricing breakdown for quotes because now uh, she's gonna be working for him and. Is Brian I'm not fired? working for him. I'm assisting him. Is Brian fired? Brian might be fired. Brian might be fired if he doesn't show up by tomorrow. Damn, you guys. We're, we're, we just had a meeting. We're going to have meetings here on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1130. 1140? 11.45. We're going to have meetings on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1145. This is our little think tank. And we're going to come up with think ideas tank. to make this shop better. So Jay Sanchez, if you're watching, I know that you are. Your space is still waiting for you. He's already here. She's already here. And I'm here. Jason, so Jason. I'm going to say it one more time. We are going to start looking for another graphic designer, even if Brian comes back. We still need somebody else just because he needs help with mock-ups. Ceci needs help with the cutting your machine. your designs on my cups. I need help. So if you guys want to intern, you know, and we're low on graphics, you can always come and reclaim. We can teach you how to screen print. We can teach you how to code. We just need help right now. That's all we need. So hit me up on Instagram. I don't care if you comment on the video, just figure it out, email me. I don't care how it is, but let's get you in here. Um, he's scared because he thinks there's a kukui outside. Who? This guy. He's like, what's outside? This fool. So wasn't it in Phoenix or in Tempe? It's definitely Phoenix. So the ghetto ass Phoenix police officer pulled over my friend today because the tint on his windows were too dark. And then Mr. I don't like to wear a seatbelt got a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. So I, I just, I'm hating on Jeremiah today, so I'm giving him a lot of crap, you guys. I love the hate. <laughs> and then she was crying this morning, but now she's back to work, so that's all that matters. Um, if you're watching this, Stephen, I love you. Stephen, we all love you, bro. She loves you. I already talked to her. She, uh, she's very thankful for you bringing the pizza yesterday, and I don't know if Jeremiah, did you get, did you eat pizza? I'm a vegan. You ate pizza. So what? Shut the fuck up. Let me see. Shut the beep up, beep, beep, beep. You, <laughs> know you got some pizza in there, bro. That's all protein. You got that protein in there. It's all protein. Line. So, Steven, if you're watching this, we're, we're sorry. We're sorry. I even feel bad, bro. Just come back. Sorry for not. Come back to the shop and hang out. You know, we love you. Hey, come back. <laughs> Baby, come back. <laughs> Baby, come back. Uh, ha, 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 ha. So, two days ago, I was talking about how we deal with our problems. Jeremiah has been dealing with this insurance for the past, what, two, three days? Two or three weeks. Oh my God. So he's been dealing with this insurance for two or three weeks. Uh, I think he's finally uh, almost figured it out. I finally figured out my situation. I took in the car yesterday, you guys saw that. Hopefully I get it tomorrow. If not, then Monday or Tuesday is gonna be the day. Because we only have one car, I have to go pick up my wife and my mom from work take him home and then come back later tonight. Jeremiah has to go pick up his mom at the airport. Yes, sir. And then he has dinner with his wife. So we're gonna meet back here at 6.30. 6.30 or 7. 6.30 or 7. Cecilia's also gonna come in and help us out with some of the work that we have. Um, I have to finish these koozies for now or never. We're almost done with all the vinyl cuts. He wanted 20 gray, 20 white, and 20 black ones, plus a 12 inch. Um, designed for the same logo and then we're gonna come back and finish work damn bro I gotta go Jay Sanchez Z yo what's up bro hey what's up boss sorry man I was in a meeting nah it's all good all right I'm back in here Jeremiah's on his way he just finished having dinner we just haven't fit we just finished having dinner uh, my wife my father-in-law and my daughter are here so <clears throat> while we wait for him, we're just gonna finish those decals and then start setting up on the machine so we can print the koozies, the herd. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Quieres agua, niña? Okay. Monday. Ese. Was it the thermofilm vinyl? Yep. I don't even know. You're on the phone. So, check this out. We cut all the H's out. Or at least half of the H is one color. The other half is a different color. 
<laughs> so we have to cut this in like a darker orange and this on a lighter orange. So the capes now look real, real good. Yeah. Now, the reason why we're doing that is because there was like a horrible dye migration on some of them. And this is for like, uh, for a really big client of Juan's at Soul Prince. And we were trying to fix them and we finally figured it out. So we got the heat press going. We're dropping a pellon on top because we want- Yes, my banner's done. The, the thing is, we want this to be nice and flat. And this old Teflon sheet that I had was kind of beat up from using it so much. And I didn't want like a texture look on the, on the logo. So we decided to go with the flat uh, pellon sheet and it worked just perfect. Perfect. So thanks to his help, because he, he did he did kind of help but well, we, I in the end we all figured it out together Oops. mainly Oops. it was um, it was just me you guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't want to edit that part out <laughs> oh, i'm not cutting nothing out bro <laughs> it's just from watching brian doing this so damn long and and i kind of just picked up a little bit on it he does have some experience on illustrator we also did call dale into um help us transfer the image to Illustrator because we, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. But, but we got it. <laughs> we got it, we got it. So that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Uh, Jeremiah wants you guys to subscribe to the channel because uh, he's gonna be in here just about every day. Not every day. So he goes and hits the gym at 11 or before 11. 9 to 11. 9 to 11. Guns for the huns. Let me see. Show me. I really didn't show you. Show me the guns. Nah, man. I gotta put them away. Snitches yeah. around here. All right. So, 9 to 11. Then he gets here at 11. 30 or 45. He needs to start getting here on time because Tuesdays and Thursdays is when we have the meetings. And if he's not here, he's gonna miss out on some good information. Uh, we'll see if he's here at 11. Uh, he ordered a banner for his uh, office, which is gonna go on this wall. And then... Mine's gonna go on this wall, but this is his office. So we're gonna get his shirt started tonight. We got a couple of koozies that we need to finish tonight. More than a couple. Realistically, we're probably not gonna finish all this stuff, but it's not due till tomorrow afternoon anyways. And we're gonna be in here working at 11, right? 30? I'm gonna be here a little sooner. Okay, we're gonna get everything started and finished for tomorrow because some of these jobs are due and we cannot wait any longer. Yeah. Who do you think is the, the, the baddest human ever born? Pablo. Besides Neko, Nikola Tesla. Pablo. Pablo what? Let's go to bar. Get out of here. Listen, you guys, I thought I was the, the night was over, but I'm going to show you guys what <laughs> we're doing over here. We're printing, <laughs> we're printing koozies. <laughs> I thought I was going to use this sleeve board, but with the sleeve board, the uh, image wasn't gonna fit because it's at 3.75 inches wide and it was basically doing this to it and it wasn't letting me print. So we figured that if we just lay it on the palette, since it's the flat koozie, uh, we can just, you know, draw out what the, where the koozie goes, kind of just position it, make sure it's nice and straight to that line. And I mean, I, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm sure my homie's gonna be happy. We already finished all the white ones and you know, for koozies, you normally don't print flash print this stuff. And it, it looks, I think it looks good. So we did about 70 koozies for them. And we also did about 70 vinyls, window decals. And then one for like his brother's truck or something. So. <laughs> Bro, you remind, you remind me of someone from a cartoon. Nah. Moto Toto. You remind me of Moto Toto. Moto Toto. Moto Toto is uh, Gloria's husband. Who does girls Gloria? From that movie. Uh, uh, what's the name of that movie? Madagascar. Never seen the bro. I heard of it. Vega Prince. We're pretty cozy. Going down. 10.30 at night. Koozies. Fresh off the grill. It's pretty like 6 o'clock, bro. It is not no 6 o'clock. <laughs> He's got me past my bedtime. People are tired and stuff. 
Yeah. And we gotta do the same stuff tomorrow morning, six o'clock sharp. You don't wake up at six. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs>